Raw, honest, revealing. The stories hitting home from Wall Street to Main Street. Award-winning journalist David Faber hosts CNBC's Business Nation. Our monthly feature, How I Made My Millions, begins in, of all places, the drive through lane at McDonald's. That's where a high school dropout named Brian Scudamore had a vision and hit on an idea that proved once again, one man's junk is another man's treasure. There I was taking a break and went to go get myself a cheeseburger and I was in lineup and there was this beat up old pickup truck in front of me and it was filled with junk. And the idea just about hit me and I said, hey, this is something I could do. I spent 700 on the truck, the rest on flyers and business cards, and within a week I had a business. I would knock on doors, and when I saw someone had a pile of junk in their alley or laneway, I'd offer to cart away their junk for a fee. And that became the basic business model, which has become 1-800-GOT-JUNK. It's no longer just a door-to-door -door operation. Thanks for calling 1-800-GOT-JUNK. What's your situation? What are you trying to get rid of? Two guys will come out there. They will do absolutely all the lifting and loading for you. All you have to do is point, we do the rest. Fees depend on how much junk you have, ranging from $95 for smaller jobs to $500 if you fill up one of their trucks. Everybody's got junk, it's got to go. It's a simple model and it works. Most of this is junk. 1-800-GOT-JUNK is, is groundbreaking in the sense that we're pioneering an industry. No one else has ever pioneered a brand in this industry, and how often does that happen? There's no national player. There aren't even, even big regional players. But what we've pioneered is clean, shiny trucks, friendly, uniform drivers, on-time service, upfront rates. We've added a level of professionalism to our industry. We're wowing customers like they've never been wowed in this industry before. Some weird stuff that we've hauled away. We've taken away a human skull, truckload of dentures, uh, Clark Gable's piano, a six feet tall pink hot pink walkie talkies that actually worked. I franchised for one simple reason and that's, you know, I never finished high school, never finished college, and I knew that we needed to hire or bring on board very, very smart people. We're able to build something much bigger and much greater together than any one of us could have ever built alone. So this isn't just me. Sprucing up cities from coast to coast, 80% of their operations are in the U.S., but they're sweeping their way around the globe. We're at 316 franchise partners today in four countries around the world. We did 106 million last year, we'll do 158 million this year. So very hyper, hyper growth. I love what I do, so every day at work I'm having fun, and, and it's not work. And the good times are paying off. He's turned trash into cash with a beachfront home and trips around the world and has built his junk empire into an enterprise worth well over $75 million. And he's not the only one at 1-800-GOT-JUNK who is cleaning up. The Millionaires Club, it's 13 franchise partners that we have currently that are all doing revenue over a million. So this year, our Millionaires Club is expected to be double because of the growth revenue in the company. It'll be about 25 people. This isn't about just building any business. Yes, we're in junk removal. It's not a sexy, glamorous business, but it's something that we're able to do extremely well and be the best in the world at. Brian Scudamore expects his company to expand to 10 countries and do a billion dollars a year in sales by 2012. He's one high school dropout who could teach the rest of us a thing or two.